number one is Jimin's Like Crazy, making $259,600. Welcome back to Control Towns Podcast, episode 26. Thank you all for tuning in. I am Steven. I'm Chris. Uh, let's just jump into some of the new music that released last week. Uh, the singles are Drake's Search and Rescue. David Guetta released a single with Anne Marie and Corey Lee Ray, Baby Don't Hurt Me. Young Boy released a single, WTF, featuring Nicki Minaj. Jonas Brothers released Waffle House. And Joey Badass released Fallen. Here are some of the projects that were released last week. We had Daniel Caesar released an album called Never Enough, consisting of 15 tracks with multiple features coming from Ty Dollar Sign and Omer Apollo. Uh, Ellie Golden had released her deluxe album, Higher Than Heaven. Uh, Ray Shrimmer released Shrim Life 4, uh, consisting of 14 tracks coming from features from Young Thug and Future. And NF released an album called Hope, consisting of 13 uh, tracks. And two features coming from Julie Michaels and Corday. The first week sales this week are coming in at number two. Melanie Martinez Portals sold 121,277 copies. Tyler Creators Call Me If You Get Lost Deluxe sold 70,385 copies, coming in at number three. Number five, Boy Genius and Indie Rock Supergroup. The record sold 63,339 copies, and Lil Wayne's I Am Music, which is a compilation album of all his hit songs throughout his career, that sold 20,275, and that came in in 24. Oh, what was your favorite track this week? Definitely the Drake record. I, th- I do think it was a little underwhelming compared to the, I could say that. Yeah. the, the snippets that were released, yeah. because it's, it's kind of just his, that, that it's a fire Really good uh, hook. Yeah, yeah. It's just the, it the delivery. The, the and, verses and it, are long. I think the, the, the Kim K thing was unnecessary. Yeah. But I do think it was a great, great single. And I, I do like that style of Drake. I really do. What about you? Uh, uh, Set Me Free, Ryla Rodriguez. Oh, the, I you, like that you're one. You're taking it back. Oh, we, oh, we went number one last year. Oh, that's a good song. That's a really good song. The top five songs that made the most revenue last week, coming in at number five, Miley Cyrus's Flowers made 91900 Coming in at number four, Pink Panther S with Boys a Liar made 99900 almost cracking that 100000 margin. Scissors Kill Bill made $105,900, coming in at number three. Number two is Morgan Wallen's Last Night, making one hundred fifty-one thousand six hundred, and number one is Jimin's Like Crazy, making two hundred fifty-nine thousand six hundred. And there was is, the one that that knocked off that Morgan Wallen. One. Yeah, and I thought Morgan cool. Wallen's gonna be up there for a while. It, that was he's the one. still up there. Yeah, no, nah, he's still up, up there. there. I think he's one. Jimin's gonna be up there for a while. Yeah, and it's 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 very impressive. All these songs have, are consistently making almost a hundred yeah. grand every. Bro, it's it's very it's very cool that uh, Boys a Liar and Flyers are still making the money after it's been released. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Month. Here are the RIAA certifications this week. Uh, here are the gold certifications. We have Scissors, uh, Used, Special. Seek and Destroy, and Love Language, all are gold. We have Morgan Wallen's Something Country, Morgan Wallen's This Side of a Dusty Cloud. We have Zach Bryant, Godspeed, and Zach Bryant, Burn, Burn, Burn. Here are the Platinum Certifications this week. Jay-Z's Hard Knock Life, Volume 2, just became six times platinum. Very impressive. Jay-Z's Blueprint became three times platinum. These are all Cardi B's Platinum Records. Ring featuring Kalani became three times platinum. Cartier Barty featuring 21 Savage became four times platinum. Invasion of Privacy, the album, became four times platinum. Be Careful became four times platinum. And now these are Scissors platinum records. Scissors Low, Snooze, Shirt, and Nobody Gets Me are all certified platinum. Scissors Good Days became five, five times platinum. And Scissors Kill Bill just became three times platinum. Here are all of Morgan Wallen's platinum records. Morgan Wallen's Your Bartender, Neon Eyes, and Band-Aid on a Bullet Hole all became platinum records. And Morgan Wallen's Still Going Down is two times platinum. Seven Summers is four times platinum. And Dangerous, the double album, is five times platinum. And Justin Bieber's Ghost is three times platinum. And Justin Bieber's That Should Be Me 
is two times platinum. Some of those are pretty surprising. Very surprising, but congratulations to all the gold and platinum certification artists. Yeah, it's pretty surprising. Those couple of them. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised Kill Bill isn't higher. Yeah. I'm and, su- and I'm surprised Cardi B, the uh, Invasion of Privacy, is four times platinum. Four times platinum. Very impressive. Because that knock, album really wasn't that great. Hard right? Knock Life, Va- yeah. uh, Volume I mean, two. two. Two, six times platinum. That's amazing. I'm surprised it's not higher, though, honestly. No, it's been that's out amazing. So long. That's amazing. Yeah. Because you got to think about it. That's almost a diamond uh, album. Yeah. There's not many artists that have diamond albums. That's fair. And uh, Jay-Z's The Blueprint just became three times platinum. And it, you are right. Uh, invasion of Privacy becoming four times platinum is very, very impressive. Because even they have, whatchamacallit, on there, right? Isn't uh, the song... Uh, Borat like, Yellow. Yeah, yeah. Borat yeah, Yellow. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. on of there, course. so that counts. Of course, in. of course. So but that's, still, it, it's still very impressive. Because look at the other songs. She's yeah, still going platinum on other songs. It's not like she just has one hit. I know. It's not like she just has. I just don't think. I don't know. I I, I personally don't think that album's good. I don't know how it's that high, but I'm very Listen. surprised. Uh, SZA is uh, her her sales have. She's she's really the yeah. biggest artist. Big one of the big. She's yeah, she's the, the biggest female artist right now in the hip hop R and B game. That like right you, you can't really exclude. You can't really include Taylor Swift. No. Nah. Because Taylor she's Swift's not, in a she different. Don't do, she, nah. she's she, she don't do like genre. she don't do like. Hip-hop but SZA is the biggest in hip hop R and B. I think if her Cardi B and Nicki Minaj released on the same day, SZA will come out on top. How about Rihanna? If you throw Rihanna in there, nah, Rihanna come out on top. Yeah. But Rihanna has hasn't been active. released anything. She hasn't been active. But six years, so That's... like Rihanna, Rihanna. Everybody's waiting on Rihanna to release something, so it's a little different. Yeah, that's I, fair. I, I had this in the background, but uh, this is pretty cool. Billy McFarlane, the Fire Festival co-founder. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. The okay. Fire Festival that went basically to shit in 2016. Yeah, the one with John Rule, right? Yeah, and the one with John Rule. Jenner, like, come. He recently tweeted that Fire Festival Two is finally happening, and tell me why you should be invited. I think this is this, this is just tweeting this should be illegal. Yeah, this is mind boggling. This is this guy stole millions of dollars from people. He owes 26 million dollars to investors. How is he allowed to do this? I thought he honestly wasn't allowed to conduct business. No, I thought he wasn't allowed to conduct business too. Because I remember watching that the the that documentary, right? Yeah, on Netflix. Yeah, they came and out they with said a whole. He wasn't allowed to conduct. He business literally for, like, endangered a bunch of people. Yeah, he had cheese sandwiches. They were supposed to have luxury dinners. They had cheese sandwiches. It's not right. It's not right. It's crazy. It's, I I can't believe he's even tweeting this. I, as any sort of promotion, I don't care if this was. Like a, a stunt to get bad publicity, yeah. but in other interviews he is talking about it like with no remorse, no yeah. regret, and no humbleness. Because he, it, it's I almost like he he went to jail and came out, and he's not humble. Yeah, yeah he's not even humble about the about the situation. Yeah, but I still can't believe John Rule getting in trouble for that, bro. This one was pretty interesting. Sway Lee admits that uh, his girlfriend. <laughs> Some producer's basement. My ex girl, she broke up with me. I'm t- why she break up with you? Why she, why she break up with you? Come on, let's keep it real. What you do? Just some dumb stuff. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Like this, it really got me right early. Like I'm glad shit happened to me. Like real early. Like it's, it's the girl I'm just in love with. She a little Scorpio John. I'm you know really Scorpio's freaky. You know that. Right? <sighs> Come on now. She had a, she had me whipped. Like I'm like boom. T- it's like my, one of my first girlfriends. So boom, she came into the crib one day. I ain't got no furniture. We sitting on the floor. Sway, boom. <laughs> oh, good. I, I'm not gonna, I can't be with you anymore. What? Boom. I'm like, huh? Why? She left me for this nigga, boom. Ooh. Get what this nigga did. This nigga truck driver, but he make like 7K a month, 12K a month. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Truck drivers make a lot truck drivers, of money, bro. They make a lot of money. They make a lot can't, of money, bro. You definitely can't, can't knock a truck can't driver. Knock a, and especially when he was first coming up, he wasn't making that much money. No, truck drivers uh, make a lot of money. Upcoming rapper bro. makes nothing. Yeah. An upcoming rapper. Listen, when you it's hard to even see the future as an upcoming rapper. Yeah. And yo, he let alone be, compete with 12k consistent cash flow. And he was he didn't think he was going to be that big. No, he had no idea. I, he had no idea. Listen, he's he's a diamond artist. Yeah. Which one is he diamond for? Black Beatles? Unforgettable and Oh, but and Oh. Is Black Beatles diamond? No, it's not diamond. I think it's unforgettable. I think he might be right. It's unforgettable. But I know he's a diamond artist. I know one, I, I, I don't know if I forgot like, he was on that song. Ye actually brought out Lil Uzi Vert at the Hollywood 
Palladium. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they had a, a, a nice crowd going. Okay. Yo, they have that many people going to eat shows, bro? Holy yeah. shit. What is it? Probably two thousand people. Still, yo, they get getting, getting Chris, that's that's lit, a lot, bro. His booking price, probably. Yeah, bro. They crazy. They going crazy uh, for this guy. Do they not know his Uzi yet? Nah, they got him, bro. He was going get. Yeah. Yeah, Yeet's getting fucking, bro. That's awesome. That's crazy. Go bro, Yeet's it. big, dude. Yeah. He's think... huge. He's, uh, he's definitely... I'm not personally the biggest fan. Nah, of I'm not really too big on him either, but yo. This, this is a pretty funny uh situation. Drake notices fans. Oh, that's, a, that's funny shit. They got a Taco Bell uniform. Respecting the hustle. Yeah. That's funny shit. I'm surprised that people didn't bring a change of clothes to work yeah. or just like switch there. Where was it? Where, where did he, what did he have? Like a club appearance or something like that? Or was that an actual concert? He probably has, I know he has a Drake resident, uh, oh, um, Vegas resident. Vegas residency. Gotcha. So, uh, um, yep, that makes sense. He could be performing at one of those nightclubs over there. Yeah. So we got to watch UFC 287 this week. It was actually an awesome card. Fantastic card. And they actually had a, a crazy stand, standout. Celebrities in the yeah, in the, they probably the had many people. They, six nine came in the back with yeah, the, the, I saw the ski mask. It was of course he's moving yeah. more stealthy. It's in Miami, so he's got yeah. he did pop himself. In and there. then Logan Paul was there, Mike Tyson, Kid Rock, and Donald Trump was sitting do- uh, Trump ringside up. with uh, Dana White. Yeah, and Gideon took a picture with Donald Trump. I saw that you uh, you told me that. Gideon and Aiden Ross. Yeah, went. Aiden Ross I, was I there. No Somebody else was there too. Like one of they those had other Twitch they, streamers. They literally, they, everybody popped out for that. Yeah, show, but for that, for I guess because it's in Miami. Yeah. It, it's in Miami. It's a big place. And it was a huge card. Yeah. Jorge Masvidal and Gilbert Burns. And then you had Adesanya and Pereira for the fourth. What is that? The fourth bout? Yep, fourth bout. Fourth Finally bout, second him. on the UFC. And, and Pereira was up 3 0. Oh. And he finally and got him. Fucking Adesanya rocked him. So let's hop over to Tier Maker now and let's uh, rank some of these hip hop producers. So the tier ranking is Legend, Great, Amazing, Decent, and Worse. Gotcha. It should be Worst, but uh, I'm not the fucking grammar police. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we shooting? We're shooting they're, Dr. Dre I right will, off. I will say this right off the bat they are missing a lot of people. Yeah. But they're yeah, missing Swiss Beats, Timbaland. Uh, Southside, Southside, they're missing murder beats. They're missing yep, a missing bunch murder of, beats. They're missing a bunch, a bunch of people. So we're just, we're just doing what we have on this tier list and yeah. ranking this tier list. Alchemist, I think they're missing to that. Yeah, so, Alchemist, yeah, so they don't have. Good. I don't think they have uh, Mike Dean. I don't nah. know, but they have. Is this Mike Dean? Yeah, it's Mike Dean. They don't have a Scott Storage. Scott Storage, and they don't have uh, uh, another big artist. They don't have Rick Rubin over here. Nope. They don't have. I can't. I can't think of anybody. Uh, I, there's, there's a couple other ones. All right. So right off there. the bat, uh, DJ Premier we could put in legendary status. I don't think anyone on this is is the worst. Now, uh, I think Dr. Dre you shoot up probably right. Dr. Dre, Pharrell. He's a legend. Pharrell's a legend. Uh, Metro, right? Metro. I think Metro personally. All right, let's put him. Let's put Dr. Dre where he belongs. Yeah. Pharrell where he belongs. And then Metro probably. In I think Metro them. is better than Pharrell and. Yeah, he's probably second. Second, second on the thing. Yeah, second second on the thing. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. I believe he's second as a legend. He changed the game. Yeah. But no producer like, is making fucking albums. He and not missed, rapping on them. Let alone that. He hasn't missed since 2015, 2016 yeah. on anything that he's dropped. So then we got uh, J. Cole, I would say, I would say, is, I would say great. great I would just, say great. I wouldn't just, say legend. So, 
Because Kanye's up there. Yeah. I think Kanye. Kanye, you put great a legend, yep. Right, right after Metro. Yeah. And respect to Kanye, it's not even about that, but it's it's more so about Metro has... Kanye as an artist is probably more impactful in everything. Uh huh. But Metro has more of a wide range of collaborative of yeah. projects. He has Nav. He has Twenty One Savage. Offset yeah. the Twenty One Savage yeah, and Offset. Offset. Yeah. He he produced uh, What a Time to Be Alive. A lot of tracks on yeah. that. He produced. He produced a lot of Young Thug stuff. A lot of Young Thug stuff. A lot of future, a whole Big bunch Sean of fucking. Big Sean has a collaborative yep. song. He has with, a uh, collaborative, collaborative album, album with Big with Sean. Big yes, Sean. you're correct. Um, off the top of my head, I can't, it's it's tough to think off the top of my head, but but he has a lot. Bro. There's, there's, there's a lot of hits. There's a lot. There's a lot of hits. Definitely um, a lot of hits. Mustard. Where would you rank Mustard? I'd probably say great. I don't know if I would say legendary. He's got good songs and he's a good bro. I Kick. would say amazing. I would put him. I would say I would say probably yes. great. Maybe like in between great and like I would put Tyler next to J. Cole. Yeah. I would put Tyler in front of J. Cole as a producer. Yeah. Not as an artist. Nah. Not uh, as an artist. Mike uh, Dean was shooting up. Yeah, right? Mike Dean needs to probably shoot up. Yep. Uh take, take Keith, Keith I'll put right there. Yeah. I, I like I said Earl Sweatshirt I'd probably put like LP the same. we'll put decent. Yeah. We'll respect him. Is it who is this? RZA, uh, RZA yeah, RZA. Uh, that's uh, a legend. legend Can't yeah. even, Earl Sweatshirt. We'll put, put uh, great. We, I mean, my bad. We'll put next to uh, Tyler the Creator. Yep. Uh, who is this? Mad Lib. Yeah. Can't see with my glasses. Legendary. I I'd, I'd say he's but he's right next to Pharrell. Yep. Is Jay Dilla? Yes, Jay Dilla. I I, I would say amazing, amazing right next to Jay Keith. Is three stacks? Yeah. Andre three stacks? Yeah, Andre three thousand. I would, I would put him I'd probably put him legendary. You gotta put him legendary. legendary. Yeah. And overall as an artist no matter what. Yeah. JPEG Mafia, I'd say they're they're yeah. they're, they're high decent. Yeah. High low decent, low yeah. amazing. This is MF Doom. Rest uh, in MF Doom is very good. He's a legend. Yeah, legend. And I'm not sure who this is, but we're gonna put them decent. Don't uh, rip us out, uh, rip us apart too bad in the comments for not I knowing. I can't really see who it is. So. But uh, if they're great, if they're a great producer duo, let us know who they are. I can't really see these fucking pictures are so small. But let us know what you think about these rankings. Let's go over them. In the legend status, we got Dr. Dre, Metro Boomin, Kanye West, Pharrell, Madlib, DJ Premier, RZA, Earl Sweatshirt, and MF Doom. Then we got Tyler the Creator. In the great tier, we got Tyler the Creator, J. Cole, Mike Dean, and Earl Sweatshirt. Amazing tier, we got Mustard, Tay Keith, and who is it? Uh, uh, J. Dilla, I think. J. Dilla. Yeah. Then in the decent, we got JPEG Mafia, LP, and this group that I do not know. Let us know what you think about these rankings in the comments below. And then, so next up, we got the Astro World. Uh, Oh, song? Yeah, we're ranking songs. Like so this. it's S, A, B, C, or D. There's no right. F songs on this on this album. I'm All right, so Sicko Mo, we got it. Yeah, S. I don't, I, I don't know if it's the best song off the album. Nah, Wake Up, you go S, right? Right off the bat. That's wake Up. Um, no bystanders. Yup, yeah, that's a good one, too. Stop Trying to Be God, I would put it as an A. Yup. Yeah. Stargazing, I'd probably put S. Honestly. Yeah, I would even put Carousel as S. Yeah. I'd probably put Carousel as S too. Yeah, you're right. R.I.P. Screw, I'm going to put right there. Yeah. What's that one? Yosemite's probably the worst song. I Personally, I think the worst song on the album. Butterfly Effect is oh, that's, so nostalgic. That's S. I'm, I'm going to put that right next to Sicko Mode. Yep. Coffee Bean's good. Yeah, I'd probably say B. Yeah, it's a B. It's a good. Houston Fornications. I would say it's a B yep. or it's an A. Yeah, B. I'd probably say B. Five percent tint. I'm a personal fan of that. That that's definitely an A. NC Seventeen's a fire track. Yeah, I would put that. I probably A too. Yep. Astro Thunder is a great track. It's a good I'd track. I'd probably too, put that yeah. as an A. Now, Yosemite. I'd probably put C B. That's probably. I I personally think that's one of the worst songs on the album. You think it's C? 
Yeah. I, you can right. barely fucking hear them on the fucking song. All right. All right. You. That's your choice. Can't say. What, what do you want to do? Uh, it'd be, it'd be C, probably. I'd probably say B. What about Skeletons? Skeletons was a good one. Yeah, I, I actually really like Skeletons. Yeah, Skeletons was a good one. And then who and what? Yeah, that's probably that, B, too. I would put that high B. Yeah. All right, so going through this tier list, we got Sicko Mode. In the S tier, in the S tier we got Sicko Mode, Butterfly Effect, Wake Up, No Bystanders. Stargazing and Carousel. In the A tier, we got Astro Thunder, Stop Trying to Be God, R.I.P. Screw, NC-17, 5% Tint, Skeletons. And in the B tier, we got Who, What, Houston Fornication, Coffee Bean, and Can't Say. And then in the C Yosa. class, Chris decided that Yosa might uh, belie- uh, belongs there. So Do you think you think it doesn't belong there? I, uh, let, you could let us know in the <laughs> comments below what you think about this ranking, and you could let us know where Yosa might belongs. Yeah. So for the next tier list, we got Lil Uzi Vert's projects ranked. Oh, nice. All right, Love so this one. Oh, this is gonna be a quick one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's only five. Yeah. What is it? Five or six projects? Six projects. All right, so we got the albums included are Love Is Rage, The Perfect Love Tape, Lil Uzi Vert vs. the World, Love Is Rage Two, Eternal Take, and Lil Uzi Vert vs. the World Two. All right, so I'm just gonna say my personal opinion. I'm going to say uh, the perfect love tape, which is, is the best. Is the best one. This one. Yes. Yeah, I know that's, that's number one. You think that's his best? Yes, that's 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 a short project though. That's a short project, but it's his best, bro. I personally think. Oh, it's that. That was a good project too. You can say that. That's one A one B. I I I give you right. one A one B, brother. Eternal to take. Well, I love right. Eternal to take, but I don't think it's better than those two that are uh, one. I think I think Eternal takes it too, personally. A ter- uh, a per- you personally think Eternal to takes it too? Do you think it's a one? Because I think I don't think it's better than those two. Albums. I think. I think the deluxe was very good. I think the deluxe was excellent. Yeah. So the deluxe is technically Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi Vert versus the World Two. Yeah. That's technically Lil Uzi Vert versus the World Two. And then Lil Uzi Vert vs. the World. And then, the what is this? Love is Rage? Yeah. I would say Love is Rage. Yeah, is, too, y'all. I don't think he has a no, bad album. No, he don't have bad albums. They're six, all good. They're all, and they they're all, all age excellent. perfectly. But in our ranking, we have, in order, we have The Perfect Love Tape, Love is Rage 2. Yep. We have Lil Uzi Vert vs. the World 2. Two. Then we have Eternal Take, uh, Lil Uzi Vert vs. the World. And then Love is Range 1. Yeah. Let us know what you think about this ranking in the comments below. And you, you can let us know what you think and where we made a mistake and where what we should be changing. I think that's perfectly rated, but other I people could disagree. Think it's, I, I think this is fairly rated. Yes. I think this could be here. And yeah. I do think you could you argue. You could make an argument that, 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 that could be switch here. with. And that could, that could switch with I don't think one. Love is Rage. Maybe this could be switched here, but I like I really like this album. Uh Lil Uzi Vert vs. The, the World. The first one. Uh the first one, yeah, it's excellent. I ju- I just think the perfect love tape is Yeah. Any song on that song sl- uh, any song on that album slaps. Alright, so for the next one we got uh Futures album, I Never Liked You. Alright. And there's not a bad song off this. Oh album. no, this it's actually this, Grammy this nominated. Fucking slaps. He lost to Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. So yeah, this this ranking is S plus S a, B, or C, and uh, there isn't a D or no. an F song on this album. There isn't. I don't it, even think there's a C. I don't even think there's a C on this album. Yeah, exactly. There isn't. But there, uh, there are duplicates. So, yeah, 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 I so see. We I got gotcha. you. Do all of them. So I got gotcha. you. How do you want to do it? You want to go bottom to top, 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 top to, to bottom, top to bottom, top, top to bottom, bottom, like we usually do. All right, so we're gonna go left to right. Seven twelve p.m. S plus. Yep. We just want to get high. We'll say it's a B. Voodoo. I'd we'll say, say it's yeah. Enough. Holy Ghost. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's decent. The way things going, I would say tonight. Yeah, I'd say tonight. I'm on one featuring Drake. I'd say it's the highest A. Yeah. Back to the basics. That's ass. That's Easy. Ass. I might be S plus, honestly. I'm that person. Is uh definitely S plus. Keep it burning's an A. Yeah. Four nuts. That's a great song. Honestly, I'll put that next to I'm on one. Yep. 
Puffin' on Zooties is a really good song. Uh, it's S, yeah. Gold Stacks is a pretty good song. I would say it's... Uh, I'd say, yeah, A, B, around middle there. Middle of A. Wait, Wait for, for You. you. Shoot that I think up. that's the best song that Future's ever created. Like, created. Yeah. Produced. Other than, other than Mask and Off, I'm I would saying, say... I'm saying, like, he, they took Thames' higher. Yeah. And reiterated it and... I'll give you that, yeah. In, in yes. Future song. Yes. So I think... I really think Wait For You is really one of the yeah. best. I, I'll give you that one. Love You Better is pretty good. Middle of A. Yeah. Massaging me. Massaging me. It's not messaging me. It's massaging me. <laughs> not, not to be the crammer police. Yeah, okay. I got gotcha. you. And chickens is pretty good. Uh, that's probably B. I would, uh, no, I would, yeah, I would say it's a high B. Yeah. Low A. So looking at this tier list, ranking from top to bottom. Wait for you. 7, 12 p.m. I'm that person. Massaging me. Back to the basics. Puffing on Zooties. I'm on one for a nut, gold stacks, love you better, voodoo, the way things going, keep it burning, chickens, we just want to get high, and holy ghost. That's a pretty fair thinking. ranking. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I personally think, but let All us know what you think different. in the comments below, and let us know what you would change and what you would rank differently. Honestly, I, mean, I wouldn't change anything, honestly. I would maybe change back to the basics, uh, to, to S+. Plus. Yeah, that's the only S thing. S is going to be... Only one, you yeah. think? Then I would probably maybe put you shift maybe put a couple that one and then that and one, yeah. And then, and so then it's a little more even. Yeah. Because this album is fantastic. Oh, it is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. And then like, just because Holy Ghost, We Just Want to Get High, and Chickens are B, doesn't mean they're bad songs. It doesn't mean they're bad songs. It's just, it just a bad, it's the worst bad, off this com- album. Yeah, exactly. Compared to the other songs. Yeah. You just finished the full episode of Control Sounds Podcast. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You could dislike. We really don't give a fuck. But just make sure you keep watching videos right here and you subscribe below.